Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. So moving along in Advent, this is the last decoration of the 12. This is the gingerbread man and uh, it's really quite easy. It, you can see that the, it is using slip stitching for tracing it with yarn to do the frosting at the end. Uh, overall, it's pretty easy to do and we're gonna work our way through the instructions to do that. So let's begin to do that next. So let's begin to do this and we're gonna start off with the size F crochet hook. I'm using an H uh, just so that you're aware and I'm going to chain a total of three. We're gonna create the head first, the one, two and three and what I want you to do is 10 half double crochets third chain from the hook so it's the very starting one. We're gonna put 10 half double crochets in that one and it's gonna cause it to make a circle. So we have one and two and three. Go right up over top of that starting strand two. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once you're done with that, I want you to slip stitch it to the top of the first one. What I want you to do as well is that if you have an excessive hole in the, in the top of it, we don't have that in the gingerbread man. So just slip stitch it first and then just use that strand or even the starting strand here. Just throw it through a darning needle and close out that hole. So I'm just gonna use the starting strand. Okay, so just I'm looking at the back of the work. So I'm just gonna go across and just kind of pull things shut. This is really not cheating. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? So what that's doing is it's closing off that hole right in the very middle of it as you're going. So I'm just gonna do a couple more times. Just like you see. So in order to get that really locked into position, if you go in and out of the work three times, like we would normally with uh, any kind of uh, yarn work like this, is that you can get it stuck in there pretty easily. So it's really almost impossible to get out. So one, and two, and three. So now you've just totally closed in that top front just like that. So what I want you to do now is that we're gonna move on to somewhere else in the body and we're gonna start with the arms next. So let's create the arms and then we're gonna move our way down to the torso and then the legs in a bit. So we're gonna start off with the slips uh, knot here on first and we need to chain a total of uh, four. So one, two, three, and four. And it says to slip stitch to any two uh, half double crochets in the actual head itself. So just going into an actual half double crochet. Okay, I'm just gonna go half double crochet, just slip. So do one and slip into the next one just like that and then it says to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that's what you've got so far. So let's go in the second row. So we're gonna just turn our work and we're gonna go second chain from the hook. So one and two, just count back to second and you're gonna do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and you keep um, um, single crocheting across including where you've done the slip stitching across the head of it. Now if you've done it right, there's four single crochets that are in the arm before you get to the head and then in the head one, you're just gonna go right into the head itself. Okay, right where you did the slip stitching. 
and then you have the final four that are left on the other side. So make sure you're, you're counting so you don't end up with a lopsided. So this is the second one and third and fourth. So let's turn it and look at it. So there is the arms here coming out. So let's turn and we're going to do again one single crochet in the first. So just chain up one, one single crochet in the first one and all the way to the other side. Pretty easy, right? It looks a lot more intimidating than it really is. I think it's the frosting that gives that illusion that it's a lot more complicated. Once you're to the other side, you're going to fasten off. So let's just get rid of this. And what I want you to do is now at this particular point, any loose ends that you see, I want you to get rid of them. So how you do that, um, if you just didn't see me doing the head, how you do that is just put it onto a darning needle and just glide it in and out of your work a total of three times. So I'm gonna turn it one. Just make sure that you don't uh, deform anything while you're doing it. So just give it a bit of slack and two. And three and what I want you to do is I want you to do that with all remaining tails that you see on this project and then we'll carry on from this point. So we're doing the arms um, and then do your head as well. Get that all cleared out so that you can continue along easily. So let's begin now working on the torso. So everything's in. Here's the good side of the project and here is the wrong side. So I finished, uh, when I was finishing, I finished off here. So then I wove it in so that when I'm going to start my work, I'm starting along here. So we're gonna create a slip knot to begin. And you have to skip so many stitches. So we're gonna skip the first three. So one, two, and three go to the fourth and you wanna slip into the fourth and just attach it with a slip stitch. Okay, and then chain one and then single crochet into that same stitch and then slip stitch, or sorry, single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. So if you kind of see where you are with the head, you can, you can see that you're still in balance. So turning your work, you want to um, just chain up one and you're gonna do one single crochet in each going across. And then turn your work and it says repeat the last row one more time. So and do not fasten off. So chain one and one single crochet in each going all the way across. So there's only four. So now it says that we're gonna move on to doing the legs. So what we're going to do is that we're going to chain one and we're gonna single crochet in the first one and we're gonna single crochet in the next one and then turn. How easy is that, right? So you turn, so just chain up one and then you're going to then um, begin and sing, uh, chain up one, one single crochet in each and then do it two more times. So turn your work, chain one, one single crochet in the next two and then turn your work and then just finish it off like that. So there is your leg and now you're gonna fasten this off. I'll weave in my ends in a bit. I'm just gonna just move on to the next leg. If you remember that when I started, I wanna make sure I know where I'm, I'm beginning again. So choo, choo, choo. so I went across there choo, 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 and there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna finish off the other two sides or the other two stitches of the leg to begin. So I'm just going into the first one. Okay, it's right in the in the crotch area. You're gonna slip stitch it, chain one and one single crochet into that one and the next one. And then you just basically have to get the legs to be the same distance, right? So chain up one, one single crochet in each of the next two. Turn it, chain one, 
there's like four uh, rows there and then turn it and I can see that's the same distance. So now I'm gonna just trim this off and I'm gonna weave in my ends like I showed you before. So weave in all the remaining ends and then we'll carry on from that point. So here's my gingerbread band. So I'm missing the frosting. So the frosting is done through slip stitching technique and let me show you how that's done. And it's done through the back side coming to the front. So just leave an extra long tail, create a slip knot. Actually you know what. So what's now missing is the frosting and I want you to think about this. This is the good side of the project and we need to trace the frosting all around. I'm gonna use a four millimeter size G crochet hook in order to play and I'm just gonna trace it like it has in the original just like you see here. So we're just gonna trace around and we need to do this from the back side in order to make it look like it does and so I would start off with the bottom of a leg and just work your way across. So sticking your hook down through, notice that I did not put anything onto the hook first and creating an extra long tail, just create a loop and just pull it through. So don't do any slip stitch or slip knots. And let that tail fall out of the way so you're not bothering with it and grab the yarn that is going to the yarn ball. Okay, so we're coming up and then just going down into the project again and just pull up and just loop it. So you can see that the yarn is coming from the back side to the forward and you're just gonna trace around the gingerbread man to follow the shape to give it its frosting. So you cannot do this if the yarn is on the front side of the project. So when you get around to the arm, just like you see, just trace out the arm. So just turn the project and just keep tracing. So if you're doing all the pipe frosting for your, for your character and when you get close to the edge just start turning and using a smaller crochet hook you can get a little bit better detail as well. And it may take you a little bit of practice to do this too. And then coming back around, see, isn't that neat? and then I'm coming to the neck area and then go up through the head. So just kind of trace around the, the perimeter of the head. Just go around the posts or whatever you can get your hook into and keep doing that all the way around. When you get all the way back around just leave the extra long tail for the one that you been, have been working on and just pull out. Okay, but you have to be able to put that back in through the project and through the other side in order to do it. But you have to pull out in the front side because it won't lock for that final one that you had done. So just going back through the project. Okay, so there you go. So you can see that you've traced it and now you're gonna turn it over and just do a really smart job of just gliding it in some fibers that never come out to the front side of the project three times. So one, two, and three. Now if you remember that you never started off with the slip knot for that starting strand so you're gonna wanna get rid of that yarn too. Okay, so you have to be able to lock that one in. So put that one in on a darning needle as well. Okay, and again just be smart about it just in and out three times. So one, two, and three. So when I go to trim this and turn it over it should not be on the front side. There you go. So you can see I traced it. So we're missing then the top loop for this so let's do that next. And finally the top loop leave an extra long strand and just create a slip knot and chain nine. We've been doing this all along through Advent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leave an extra long tail. I've got this down in my head now. So pull it through, tighten everything and fold it in half and pull the strands so they match each other. And if they don't, just trim one of them to match the other and throw that into your darning needle.
Now coming it to the top, do not interfere with the frosting. So just go right in through the gingerbread material itself, through and stop once the loop is through, come through the middle of the loop, back through the gingerbread man, back through the loop again, and back through the gingerbread man, and turn them over. And go in and out of the project just in the back fibers here a total of three times. So one, two, and three. So now that's done. So you can just trim it right down. And therefore the gingerbread is ready for your Christmas tree. You just have to do two of them for that. And this is how you do the advent. So this concludes the advent series. Have a great time. We hope that you enjoy your Christmas. And until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon.